Sup guys, this is Heat King here, bringing you another Resident Evil video uh, regarding the potential release date of Resident Evil 9. So, before I continue, please remember to like and subscribe, and let us go through this very quickly to discuss, you know, when the game is going to be revealed and when it's potentially going to be released. So, guys... We are drawing near to the potential reveal of Resident Evil 9. When's that gonna reveal gonna be? Well, there's there's two. There's two dates, technically two months that it could be in. Uh, the first one, of course, is in May. Apparently, because there's a rumor that we're going to have a PlayStation showcase in May. Now, that's not being confirmed. It's a rumor. So, it's very possible it's going to be revealed then. The other month it could be revealed in could be at a State of Play event or another, maybe a PlayStation event in June. And the reason I say it's going to be this year in those months specifically is because of a pattern that Capcom likes to do when it comes to their major games. And this pattern, you know, has been done with several of their Resident Evil titles so far. So let's go through this pattern, yeah? The first game that was released uh, a few years ago was uh, Resident Evil 7, you know, back in... June 14 when it was revealed in yeah, 2016 at the E3 2016 event and it was released seven months later on the 24th of January 2017 and then there was a four-year gap between then and Resident Evil Village. Resident Evil Village was revealed on the 11th of June 2020 at the PS5 reveal event I believe and that was released on the 7th of May 2021, 11 months later. Now, out of all the games, Resident Evil Village is the one that had the longest waiting time. Nearly, pretty much almost a year before it eventually came out after its initial reveal. So there was a four year gap between there, between RE7 and RE Village. But I know what you're thinking, that's... Yeah, that's not a that's not a lot of information to go on, you know, that's just that's just like t two games technically. But you know, hear me out, hear me out. Resident Evil 2 Remake was revealed in the 12th of June 2018 at the E3 2018 event and was released on the 25th of January 2019, seven months later. Similar to Resident Evil 7, it was revealed in June and it came out seven months later on January. Uh, so then when did the next game come out? I'm not going to count RE3 Remake because RE3 Remake was technically sort of like an expansion pack to Resident Evil 2 Remake and it was made by a different studio from the ones that made RE7 to RE4 Remake. M2 Studios made RE3 Remake. They didn't really have any involvement with those other games. Maybe they helped out, maybe. I know they worked initially on RE4 Remake before they were pushed out of the project and the Division 1, Capcom Division 1 took over. But they're the main development crew that's worked on most of the RE titles pretty much so far since RE7 came out. But yeah, uh, the game we're going to be looking at in comparison is RE4 Remake. So the gap between RE2 Remake and RE4 Remake essentially. RE2 Remake, as I said, came out on the 12th of June 2018. Uh, sorry, was revealed on the 12th of June 2018. It came out in 25th of January 2019. RE4 Remake was revealed on the 2nd of June, 2022, at the State of Play. And that came out on the 24th of March, 2023. So again, there was a four-year gap between RE2 and RE4 Remake. RE4 Remake came out nine months later after its initial reveal. So that's the second longest RE title at that point with the RE engine, if you will, that came out a bit later than it was initially reported, you know? So yeah, there is a pattern here. There is a clear pattern here. between From RE7 to RE8, there was a four-year gap. Between RE2 and RE4, there was a four-year gap. So if we're to use this, you know, if we use this knowledge a bit carefully here, we can sort of speculate when RE9 is going to come out. If we look at the gap between RE7 and RE8. It's been four years now. Well, has it been four years? No, it's been three, three years. It's been three years, I believe. Yeah, three years. Because uh, RE3 came out in 2021. We're in 2024 now. And all the rumors are saying that RE9 is coming out in 2025. Well, that would mean that the uh, reveal for it would be this year. And it would make sense for it to be in June. Because four of the bloody RE games and you know done in the RE engine have been revealed in June events. So, it kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Um... So yeah, that's why I'm thinking it's going to be June. 
and it's going to be at a PlayStation showcase or a state of play. Now, like I said, there is a rumor that we're getting a showcase in May instead, but that's a rumor. Nothing's been confirmed. Going off the pattern here, I'm kind of more convinced we're going to get some sort of state of play or event in June instead. But if it is May, there's a high likely chance it's going to be revealed then instead. But if not, then it's June. So the point I'm trying to make is, is keep your calendars free, keep your eyes out, because May or June, we're getting that initial reveal. Of course, the question now you're going to be asking is, okay, it's going to be revealed in May or June of this year. When's the actual game itself going to come out? Um, looking at the patterns again, you know, RE7 and RE2 Remake were consistent. They came out seven months after the initial reveals, but RE8 and RE9, that's a bit more tricky. So, you know, one could make the assumption that if it is an early release for 2025, the game could pretty much be out by January. I mean, this game apparently has been in development since 2018. That's six years of development. Like, I don't understand, you know, I can't see how much more time Capcom's going to spend on this. They want to dish this out, right? So, you know, that's a potential release window, January, late January of 2025. Or, like RE, uh, you know, RE4 or RE8, it's probably going to be a late release or a mid-release technically in either May or is it May? Yes, May or... Really? March or May? That's that's the... Yeah, yeah, it could be March or May, yeah. Hell, it could even be April, like Resident Evil 3 Remake. But I doubt it. I doubt it. But, yeah, that's that's pretty much all I have to say on that, really. Mostly because uh, I'm going to be talking about uh, some of the new rumors that have come out. But I wanted to get this out of the way first to give you an idea that, yes, Resident Evil 9 is going to be revealed this year. And, yes, it's probably most likely definitely coming out next year. And this is when it's going to be revealed and this is when it's going to come out. But, yeah, these are my thoughts on it. This is what I think. These are my predictions. And uh, I haven't been wrong before on this. Like, I was pretty much right on when RE4 Remake was going to be revealed. So I'm, I'm, I feel confident that I'm right about this as well this time around as well. But we'll see. We'll see, guys. I'm just curious how they're going to reveal the game. You know, that's always the fun part about these games. Every Resident Evil reveal trailer has been something magical. You go in, you look at it, you're like, oh, I wonder what this is. And then you get the big twist. And if you're really a really, really good fan, you'll a and you know you've been reading all the news or you know your RE stuff, you know immediately what it's gonna be. So yeah, I'm very curious how they're gonna do it this time around for RE9. Looking forward to that. Anyway, guys, that's my video. I hope you liked it. As always, remember to like and subscribe. And I shall see you when I shall see you. Technically, this is gonna be an audio video, so hear you, hear you, read you. Hmm. Anyway, point is, take care, guys. Oh, and happy pancake day for me. Take care and bye.